Hello everybody, my name is Graham Manley from Ortholab and today I'd like to show you the RPE appliance, also known as the Hyrex appliance. And it can come with two different types of screw, the power screw and the standard Hyrex screw. And I'm going to show you these two appliances, these two screws in this appliance and tell you the differences between them. Let's have a look. So this is the standard Hyrex screw. And if you just write, you, you want a Hyrex or an, or an RPE on the lab sheet, uh, this is the screw that you will get. This is activated uh, with a blue handle key, one of these things, and the patient puts that, or the patient's parent can put that in the patient's mouth, find the little hole, and just turn that. Okay, and that's one turn per week, and that one turn is one, one quarter of a millimeter. Okay, that's the standard Hyrex screw. This is the other screw. This is known as a power screw, also known uh, in some circles as a super screw. Uh, this is uh, turned by the patient using a little wrench. So that's one of these little wrenches that comes with it. And this goes, starts here, and it just turns like this. So it goes in the patient's mouth like this, and it just turns until you can, it hits the teeth. And that one turn is one twelfth of a millimeter. So this can be turned once every day. So the main difference, differences between the Hyrex screw and the power screw is the rate at which they turn. The Hyrex screw, one turn every week, and that's a quarter of a millimeter. The power screw, one turn every day, and that's a twelfth of a millimeter. The power screw is easier for the patient to turn, However, they are a little bit more expensive. So decide which one you want, either the standard Hyrex screw or the power screw. But remember, on the lab sheet, you must ask for the power screw in order to get it. Otherwise, you'll be given the standard Hyrex screw. I'm Graham Manley for Ortholab. 